As an Olympic team member and NCAA champion, Mark Coleman entered the octagon as the highest level wrestler to do so. Before I actually got signed to the UFC, I was I, I was fairly cocky. and I, we Wrestlers didn't like karate guys because they had a school on every corner of the street. And we, we was disgusted because we knew we could just slop them down to the ground and uh, wipe them up. And, uh, but it started hitting me while I'm walking into the cage. Uh, then, then the nerves really hit me walking in because what if he does a karate kid move on me? You know, I was concerned about that. Um, I handled it pretty well and uh, it, it went just how I planned. I took him down and uh, he had no, no guard, no defense. While the Hammer had the utmost confidence in his discipline, the wrestling community wasn't so sure. They were not totally on board with the UFC, but uh, I didn't see any reason why, because I, I knew right away this is gonna, it's gonna make, wrestlers were low on the totem pole, and the UFC mixed martial arts has put us up here. Look at the champions. What do they all have in common? And I said in UFC 10, if you can't wrestle, you can't fight. And it's true to this day. If you can't wrestle, you're gonna get sniffed out and you'll be on your back. After dominating the field at UFC 10 and introducing the world to ground and pound, Coleman showed how important wrestling is, even if they did take away his patented headbutt. Oh, uh, I was lost. Uh, I, I was lost because it, it wasn't just the headbutt. You know, you had two hands and a head against two hands. Who wins? Then you hit the ribs hard. You know, when I, when I went to the body, I hit it hard. Now, a lot of times you heard about laying prey. People were getting disgusted with all these wrestlers. Got to change the rules. Uh, you know, I, I, I knew. I said, just give it five years because everybody's going to realize they have to learn at least defense on wrestling. And just like jiu-jitsu, you don't have to learn a lot of offense, but you got to learn how to defend the stuff. And it's a lot easier when you just learn half. And a lot of the jiu-jitsu moves are really common to wrestlers, only we're not allowed to use them. It's illegal, but we know them. The rear naked choke, the front guillotine, some other stuff. Uh, we just weren't allowed to do them because it's an illegal move. But so jiu-jitsu and wrestling is kind of the same, but the opposite. 